Um, so this piece um, the Lord gave to me um, when I was in college, I went through this time of spiritual warfare. And so um, I don't want to say like what this uh, particular piece means. Um, but to me, it was a time that I went through spiritual warfare and like God kind of redeemed me out of that. Um, <clears throat> so it can also mean like demons in your life or things like that too. But here goes. They bring desperation and desire with a burning passion and a roaring fire. They come, oh they come, to win your soul, to drag you down. They know you follow the victor's crown, yet you hear the sound, the snarling voices in the wind. They haunt your thoughts and remind you of your sins. As you slide into the darkness, believing lies and falling to the abyss, where they call you friend. But this is not your end. A light glows in the distance in a voice and way that makes sense. And as the light begins to shine, the shrieks and desperation say, stay here, you're fine. But the light grows brighter and brighter. The liars have been exposed. They had no idea they had a fire. And they have no power, no favor, for our God is bigger and stronger. There is no wager because you have been set free by a king who died on a tree. So turn around, turn away. Lift your thoughts and prayers today because though they beckon and call, they don't stand a chance at all because you are protected from the roar of the beast. Putting on the arm of God, they cannot feast. And though they come, oh, they come with desperation and desire. The Lord is with us, standing, holding our hand through the fire.